Hello hackers! Welcome to the new video where we are going to hack information disclosure in a version control history. So this lab discloses a sensitive information via its version control history and to solve the lab all what we have to do is to connect as a user administrator after obtain its password and then we have to log in and delete the user callus. So guys, if you're not very familiar about what is the version control history, so let's talk a little bit about this technology. So let's go to the Git. Git, it's kind of technology will give you the possibility to save your code in several of comments. And this is where we can share our code with another partner so we can collaborate our code. So if you are a developer, I'm easily to share my code with my partners and with my team. So if I create a new code or a new project, I can easily save it as a comment. But after a while, I'm going to make some updates, some changes, and I'm going to submit a new comment. And after a while, my partner can make a new update to my code, so he's going to create another comment. And the comments are several of my version code. So if I have any problem and I want to back to the previous code, it's easily to back to the previous code without any new update. And this is the power of Git. And as you can see, guys, the last version of Git exists is 2.45.2 for now. So if you are watching this video in the future, maybe you will find a new version. So let me give you an example where we are going to store this code. So if I'm going to use Git locally, definitely I'm going to save all these comments on my computer. But if I'm working in a team or in a company, definitely I have to share my code with another partner or with my team project. And here we have another platform to use where I'm going to save my code. Let's take an example of this GitHub. So this is a platform where give me the possibility to share my code with a partner. So it's a cloud where you're going to save your code. And in this lab, we are going to base our attack using the Git comments. And this is an example of the code that that we are going to use. So let's take a look of it. As you can see, we have some several code. All of them start with a git comment and then we have a status to see if there is any updates. We have a git comment to push a new comment and all these things. So don't worry guys, I will put all these things in the comments so you will have all these resources for you. But before moving forward guys to this lab, so let's make a demonstration and see how git works. So let me go in here, let's say sudosu first. And here we go. Now I'm going to the download folders. As you can see, I have empty folder. So I'm going to create a new project in here. But first, let me navigate to the downloads folder. And here we go. I'm going to create a new project. Let's say make directory in here. And I'm going to call it project. And here we go. So let me navigate to this project. Now I'm in the project folder and to initialize the git, all what we have to do is to write git and then init. And here we go. But let me go and see what happened inside this project. As you can see, it's an empty folder in here. But if you see the message that I got, you can see that we have initialized an empty git repository in here in the project folder. And then I have another folder, call it .git. But the weird thing here that I cannot see it, and this is absolutely normal because the .git folder is hidden by default. So how I can check this folder? All what I have to do is to write ls, then minus a. And as you can see, now I can see this folder. So let me navigate into it. Let's say cd.git. And here we go. Now I'm in this folder, as you can see. And all what I have to do is to make ls and let me see what I'm going to have. So this is a basically structure of this git folder. We have a branches, config, description, head, and all these stuffs. And this is going to be my target in this lab. So guys, before moving forward, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video, and let's start.
And uh, here we go guys. So the first thing that we are going to do guys is to looking for the folder which is slash dot git in here and see if it exists in this project or not. So let me check this folder. Let's say slash dot git and let me see. And here we go guys. And now we can see that this slash git it's not protected, so we are able to access to the project's version control. And as you can see, we have a branches as we have in here. We have description, we have hooks, and all these information. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to download this git, and I'm going to navigate into it, and I'm going to discover it. So maybe I will find something sensitive, and this is, can be a very interesting attack. So first, let me navigate back to downloads folder and here we go now let me clear all this thing and let me copy this url as you can see with the slash dot git and over here i'm going to say wget for a download minus r and then i'm going to paste the url so this can take a little bit while and here we go guys so let me go to the downloads folder and check and as you can see, I successfully downloaded the project Git. So let me double click on it. And as you can see, it's an empty folder in here. So let me clear again and let me see what I have. And here we go. Let me navigate into this project. I'm going to copy the folder name and let me paste it in here. And here we go. So if I just write ls, definitely I'm not going to find anything because it's an empty. So all what I have to do is to make ls minus a. And here we go. Now you can see I'm able to see the hidden folder that git. I'm going to navigate into it. And here we go. Now let me write ls and let me see what I'm going to have. So let me close this thing and let's make a simple comparison. As you can see, we have description, description in here, hooks, uh, also hooks in here, etc. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to base my attack on the git sheet. So let's go to the git sheet sheet. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to see if there is any update or any new uh, code in the project. So let's say git status in here. And as you can see, he told me that this operation must run in the work tree, which means I don't have to be in this folder. So I'm going to navigate back to the project. And here we go. Let me clear again. Now let's say git status again and see what I'm going to have. And here we go. Now we have a very interesting information. Now you can see he told me that there is two files that were deleted. So the first one is admin.config and the second file, which is uh, admin slash panel.php. So these two files were deleted from the project. So to discover this folder, all what I have to do is to check the previous code. So before doing this, let me say git log and then let's say double dash one line. I'm going to discover all the branches in the project is exactly what I have in here, which is git log. So as you can see, he said that show all the comments in the current branch. So let me press enter and see. And here we go. Now we have only two branches. I'm in the last branch which is remove admin password from the config so definitely i think that this is uh, the config file so what i have to do i'm going to back to the previous code read what we have in here and definitely we have these two file exist in there so how i can do it i'm going to use this git to navigate between the branches so let's say git checkout and then i'm going to copy this branch id and then I'm going to paste it over here and I'm going to press enter. And as you can see, we have an interesting uh, message in here. We have this delete admin slash panel, which means that file, it doesn't exist also in this branch. So now let me see the files that exist in the project. So let's say ls. And here we go. Now you can see I have the admin config exist, but I don't have the admin panel.php. So this is absolutely what I check when I see uh, the status that we have two files were deleted, but one of them still exists in the previous branch. So now let me 
read inside this folder. So let's say cat and then let's say admin.conf and here we go. So now you can see that I successfully found the admin password, which is admin password equal to this random character. So let me back to the project in here. So let me navigate back. So let me go to my account and let me connect as an admin. So as you can see, we found the password, but what is the username? So if we back to the lab, you can see that he tell us that the admin username is the administrator. So let me copy it from here. Let me paste it. And now let me copy the password and let me paste it over here and let me log in. And here we go, guys. Now we are successfully connecting as an administrator and we are able to do a bunch of stuff. And one of them is to update the administrator email. But I'm not interested of this one. Let me go to the admin panel. And my duty is to delete the user callus and let me delete it. And here we go, guys. Now we finally solved the lab. So please, if you like this video and if you learned something new about the version control and if you want to learn more about it, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like this video. And if you need any help or you have any question, please put it in the comment below and stay tuned to the next one.